And welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Oris Wi-Fi Battles. If you haven't guessed it, I'm the special co and special host today. It is me, Johan, not Misty. And today I'm putting up one of my first Oris Wi-Fi battles against Mayu or Luther, whatever you may know him as. He's a Twitter friend of ours. He happened to actually challenge me to this fight, and I actually ended up accepting it. Most of these Pokemon are, again, my Oris Pokemon, and they're just now starting to get competitive. So these are technically babies but then some of them aren't babies um he brought Volcarona, Togekiss, Flygon, Salamence, Swampert, and Rotom Wash. As you saw, they're almost the exact same Pokemon that he fought Misty with, if not the exact same Pokemon. For me, I decided to bring my Haxorus, which is something new I'm using, Metacham, Charizard, which one you'll have to wait and see my Greninja, Jolteon, and Flygon. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, Johan, if you like Pikachu, where is he? My Pikachu I'm saving for the Dylan Carr tournament because I will be using it. It will be one of my main streamers in that tournament. So again, guys, again, if you are asking me to battle and you're wondering where my Pikachu is, that is why some Pokemon that I am going to be using for this tournament you won't see in what these Wi-Fi battles just as I don't want to get the move pools and sets out, you know, beforehand. But... You know, I might do a sneak release or something like that to let you see what I'm going to be using in the tournament. But that's neither here nor there. At this point, let's go ahead and get this battle started and get into it. Now, this one wasn't that long ago. I think it was like right before Christmas. And I know you guys are wondering, like, why haven't I been putting up content? And Missy's putting up content. You know, she is, you know, the mainstream person. I just, you know, create sub content. But there will be things coming out. As you can see, going back to the battle... My Haxorus is a mold breaker one, and I'm starting off with Dragon Claw. Now, I expected it to kill. It did not. It really did not kill. And I got hit with a Hidden Power, which was super effective. I should have saw that coming, but I thought I would be able to one-shot him. I was incorrect. So, that being said, he switched, he pulls it out. He goes into Togekiss. I predicted this. I predicted this. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to go with the Iron Tail. And as you guys saw, I did use Dragon Claw. That was a mistype. That was a misclick. I meant to go that, but I just hit the same button again trying to speed through it. It doesn't happen. I have to battle very often. Anyway, Swampert comes out, and I go again for the Dragon Claw. Now, that didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to, and it really bothered me. But it's neither here nor there. Again, this Pokemon is relatively young. It is its first battle ever ever like I battled it with the computer but that doesn't count so I go out into Metacham against this Swampert now I know a lot of you guys are wondering why would I do that there's your there's your point right there drain punch I love the fact when I see all these Swampers out I love the fact that Mega Swampert is out because so many people are using them and I get to capitalize on their ground weakness I love it Anyway, so he goes on a Volcarona, and he starts off with Fiery Dance. Now, I'm assuming he did Fiery Dance to try to get the stat boost. It did not work. It did not work. I get a good chunk of my HP back, but I also realize that he is faster than me. So, at this point, he goes into the Bug Buzz. With me being a Psychic type that's going to make it super effective, that will be another Pokemon that will go down. And, spoiler alert, I don't think any other Pokemon will go down this fight. So at this point I go into Greninja. Now again, I would have loved to take my Greninja but he was taken for the tournament, but that's not the thing over there. Now Greninja goes ahead and goes into the waterfall, that's going to finish him off, knocking him out. We would take Recoya from the life orb damage, and that'll be that. If you guys are wondering, this is not the same Greninja that I had in my play that you saw me fighting Dylan Carr with. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and try to use a uh, gunshot just to go ahead and get my type change. It was not for damaging effect because I figured he would try to use an electric attack on me. As you guys know, that would have destroyed me. So at this point, I'm a poison type. He's a dragon type on the field. Of course, I'm going to go for the ice punch. That's going to make me an ice type and that's going to make that super effective. Getting that guy out of here. So... He gets ready to send out his next Pokemon. I take a little life force damage. Jet Stream hits the field. Now, again, here we are, another Dragon type. Now, I have been intimidated. With this being a physical attacking Greninja, I'm pulling him out, and I'm going to go into my Dragon type, Flygon. 
I figured he would go ahead and Mega Evolve this turn, which he did do. And, you know, everybody loves a Mega Salamence. Everybody loves Mega Salamence. Mega Salamence hits the field and he goes for Zen Headbutt. And, you know, it hurt. You know, it hurt. But, you know, Flygon ate that up, you know, like he was munching it. And he goes for the Dragon Claw, which doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. But this is where things got dicey for me. He used Shadow Claw rather than Dragon Claw. So if that was a misclick, hey, don't feel bad. I, I did it too. But it still didn't help him. Mega Salamence is gone. At this point, there's not really too much he can hit me with. 8-Bit hits the field again. I'm going for the Dragon Claw because regardless of how much life he has, he's not going to be able to take that. Or at least take too many of those. So I'm not 8-Bit out. And that is the battle. Guys, again, there will be more content coming from me here. You're going to get the Supplement Shot series. It will be back. It will be Aura's Edition. Um, so you guys can expect that. As far as a lot of the content from, you know, pre ors I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, I wish I could tell you a lot of it will be back. But I don't know if I'm going back to the Kalos region anytime soon. We're going to play X and Y pretty soon even to do more stuff in that region nor if I know of Misty. I know you guys she's got a lot of interesting surprises coming up. I have interesting things coming up. So stay tuned for that stuff guys. It's really, really big, really 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 big actually. Um in the meantime I hope you guys enjoy this. This should hold you guys over until I get my supplement shot series up and just to let you know what's going on on my part. If you guys want to battle me or Misty, Twitter is the best way guys hit us up on Twitter. Say who you want to battle. If you want to battle me, specify you want to battle me, or Misty will battle you. Not anything against it, because she is a good battle in her own right. Don't let her fool you with that she's not a good battler. In the meantime, guys, thanks. Keep it classy. Keep it greasy. Peace.